Hey, I want to take a few moments today to address uh, an email that was sent to me by a viewer. They linked me to a video from High Impact Vlogs where they're talking about some statements Sean Hannity recently made about people exercising their Second Amendment rights. He's talking about some of the people that came to one of the rallies to reopen their state and how they were carrying long guns. Now, I know a lot of people in here, no matter what Sean Hannity did, they'd find some way to justify it in their mind. You know, they'd suck his dick anytime he asked them to. Uh, but I'm hoping that they will look at these statements by him and the breakdown by High Impact Vlogs. I'm not going to break down everything he said today because, like I said, I'll link the video below to where you can go over and see a pretty good breakdown of what Sean Hannity said. But just to give people the gist of it, uh, what Sean Hannity said was he didn't like them carrying long guns at the Capitol and he gave multiple reasons why they shouldn't do it. Oh, for one, it's muddy in the message. You know, I often agree with that. It does muddy the message quite often when you do stuff like that. But they had a specific reason why they were carrying long guns and handguns there. They were showing force. They were actually showing up saying, hey, the government is doing illegal things, telling us we can't even plant seeds in our own yard, etc. And we're not going to take it. If they keep it up, it might end up in something bad. Right now, we're here peacefully to just show that we don't have to take this. But Sean Hannity goes on talking about, I'm such a big Second Amendment guy. I'm such a big Second Amendment guy. And I'm like, you're not a Second Amendment guy. You're a fucking FUD. You like guns and you like guns for you. But you can see how he's acting as soon as people he considers his lessers are using firearms in a way he doesn't approve of. You can see how he acts. And he keeps saying, oh, I wouldn't take any rights away. I wouldn't take any rights away. And I'm like... Based on the way you're acting right now, if you had the power to do that, you would have taken their rights away. You would have taken away their right to carry long guns at the Capitol. Very clear you would have taken their rights away. So I want people to watch this video because he goes on, like I say, to use several reasons why they shouldn't be doing this. One of them is like, oh, it made the police feel scared. It scared the police. And I'm like, fuck the police. And fuck scaring the police. Those people in that crowd, those police, no one got harmed. Those people didn't take any overt actions against the police. In fact, I would say that those armed people in that crowd were far more at danger from those police than those police are from them, especially since police have a tendency to make sure that the government takes names and faces, and then they go after them later when they can't don't have people around them to help defend themselves. So I would say the police probably weren't in much danger there, more so the people are in danger from the police in the state there. Uh, also, he goes on talking about how, oh, this is just a show of force and we shouldn't be using shows of force and it's intimidating. Blech. So in other words, he doesn't like the way they're using their firearms and he doesn't like the message firearms contain. I guess he considers if anyone carries a gun openly, that's a show of force. and They're trying to intimidate people. He just whines and fucking whines about that. Uh, just everything he says is so fucking fuddish. Uh, just irritates the fuck out of me. Like I say, I've never liked Sean Hannity. Don't like him now. Don't won't like him tomorrow. But I know there's a lot of people out there do. But I would just ask you, go over there. Ask yourself, why do you like him? Is it because he gets on the news every night and reads a teleprompter and says the things he thinks you want to hear? But occasionally he lets his own opinions slip in. Pay attention when he lets his own opinions slip in, like he did here with the Second Amendment. He is not a Second Amendment guy. He's a guns for Sean Hannity guy. He's a guns for his friends and people like him guy. As soon as I, as soon as people he considers his lessers, like I said before, do something he doesn't agree with with guns, he's all over it, doesn't think it should happen, wants to put a stop to it, blah, blah, blah. And don't tell me he wouldn't if he could, because he would if he could. You can just tell by his way he's acting. His guests don't agree with him. When you pay attention to these clips, you'll be like, his guests are like, what the fuck is this anti-gun shit? Uh but they try to kiss his ass along the way or they won't be back on his show again. But uh, it's just so plain and clear he's a fucking fud. He's one of the worst type of things that exist out there as far as threats to our Second Amendment rights. Those that pretend to be on our side but are more than willing to tell us what we can and can't do with our rights, how we should and shouldn't behave when exercising our rights. You know, the people who think they know best. He's one of those people. So like I said, I would encourage anyone in here that's a Sean Hannity fan to go over to High Impact Vlogs. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description of this video below. Go over there, watch this video, and see if you feel like defending Sean Hannity afterwards.